Well, the first thing that can happen is that the two lines, they cross, they intersect, and they just have one common solution, right? The second thing that could happen is that they could actually be the same line, so they actually could be crossing at an infinite number of points, okay? And then the third case is that the two lines could actually be parallel, which means that they'll never cross, so there's gonna be no common point of intersection or no solution. So as far as the terminology goes, when there's no solution, when the lines are parallel, this is called inconsistent. Okay, so that just means that there's no, there's no point of intersection, you know, there's no point that they share in common. Now over here, there is a solution, and these are called consistent, but when there's one solution, this is called consistent independent, okay? And when there's an infinite solution where they're the same line like that, that's called consistent dependent. Okay, so I'm just abbreviating there. So these are consistent, this one's inconsistent, but for the ones that are, have a solution, the consistent ones, it could be one solution independent or infinitely many, Cons uh, consistent dependent. Okay, let's look at some examples. Let's see if we can talk about how to determine, you know, what type of a system that this is. So if we look at this first example here, one way to approach this is to rewrite the equations in the slope-intercept form of the line. So you can tell what the slope is, what the y-intercept is, and you get an idea about how many solutions they're going to have. I'm going to show you two different ways to do these problems. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. If I do that, I get y equals negative 3x plus 12. Now you remember, the number in front of the x here, that's the slope. If they have a different slope, they're gonna be going up at a different rate, and what that means is they're just gonna cross at one point. So we know there's just gonna be one solution to this uh, system, um, and so that's, that's exactly what's gonna happen here. Now another way to do this problem is to use either the substitution or the elimination method. And what you would do is, in this case, since we know that y equals 2x minus one, we can put that in place of y in the second equation. So I'm just gonna do that right now and show you what happens. So basically we end up getting 5x minus one equals 12. If we add one to both sides, we get 5x equals 13. And if we divide by five, you can see that x equals 13 fifths. If we put 13 fifths back in for x, we're gonna get the y coordinate of the point where the two lines cross. And so we can see there's just gonna be one solution. Okay, if we go to this example here now, let's do the same thing. Let's go ahead and rewrite this into the slope-intercept form of the line, the y equals mx plus b form, right? And if we divide everything by two, we get the y by itself, we see that we get y equals negative two x plus one, and you can see that's the exact same equation that we have here. So what that tells us is that it's this scenario here where the two lines are actually right on top of one another and they're crossing at an infinite number of points. So that's called consistent dependent and there's an infinite number of solutions. Now, if you didn't wanna do it that way by rewriting the equation, you just wanted to jump right into the substitution or elimination method, let's go ahead and do that and I'll show you what happens. So since we know that y equals negative two x plus one, we're gonna put that in place of y in the second equation, okay? That's called the substitution method. And if we do that, well, let's just go ahead and simplify. So if we distribute the two, we get negative four x plus two, bring down this four x, right? Four x and negative four x cancel and we get two equals two. Now when you get the same thing that equals the same thing, that's, that's called an identity. It means that the left side and the right side are identical. And what that means is that th these two um, lines are exactly the same. So they're gonna be crossing at an infinite number of points. Now if you got something like two equals three or zero equals five, then that doesn't make any sense, and what that's called is called inconsistent. And that no matter what you put in for x, uh, you know the two um, the two lines are just not going to cross. They're not going to have a point in common. So let's look at this third example. Let's do the same thing we've been doing by solving for y and putting it into the slope-intercept form of the line. So I'm just subtracting the nine x from both sides, right? <clears throat> Divide everything by three. We want to get the y by itself, right? So now when you look at these two equations, what do you notice? They have the same slope, negative three, but they have different y-intercepts. So what that means is they're going up at the same rate, or in this case, going down at the same rate because they have a negative slope, but they have different y-intercepts. So that means that they're, they're not gonna cross. If we were to graph these, so one's up here at positive four and it has a negative three slope, and one here is crossing at positive one and it has a negative three slope, and you can see they're not gonna cross. But if you didn't wanna do this graphing method or do the slope intercept form, what you could do is you could do like we've been doing, take this quantity here, substitute it in for y in the second equation, and let's just see what happens. So I'm just doing the substitution method. Distribute the three, look what happens here. Again, you notice the nine x and the negative nine x, see the variables canceling out, and then what we're left with is uh, basically what's called a you know a nonsensical answer. It doesn't make any sense. Like three equals twelve, that'll that'll never be true. And what that 
indicates to us is that these lines, they don't have a point in common. They're not going to cross. It's inconsistent. You could say there's no solution. And uh, that's how you would approach these different uh, systems. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out more math tutoring videos on Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the future videos.